the 70s. Throughout the 1970s, the freshly acquired freedom of expression is often exercised. Demonstrations abound against the war in Vietnam, the regimes of Pinochet in Chile and Videla in Argentina, against nuclear energy, against the neutron bomb and against the construction of a subway system in Amsterdam. The worldwide oil crisis of 1973 also brings the Netherlands financial problems. The price of gasoline rises to the astronomical price of one whole gilder per litre. A whole procession of carless Sundays follows. Oil companies search for alternatives for petroleum from the Middle East and drill for oil under the North Sea. Especially in the regions belonging to Norway and Great Britain, large reserves of oil are found under the seabed. In the Netherlands, a significant offshore industry arises and Royal Dutch Shell becomes one of the leading companies controlling the world oil market. The 70s are colourful years, characterised by growth, development and innovation. Small companies like Apple and IBM sell the first computers in the Netherlands. The prosperity of the post-war years is now within everyone's reach. Programmes like Top Pop from Ad Visser embody the new Anything Goes attitude. Dutch society embraces everything, as long as it's extravagant and colourful. Femme fatale Penny de Acher becomes a symbol for the new sexual freedom. This is the decade in which anything goes, from recreational drug use to illegal ocean-faring pirate radio stations. The Dutch government, however, is not ready for all these freedoms. Parliament under Den Al enacts the anti-piracy law. The outcome is that transmissions from the pirate radio ship Veronica are halted on the memorable day of August 31, 1974. Imbema is still growing and in 1972 must move to the offices at Oranjekade, numbers 3 and 5, naturally in Harlem. This is the year in which Imbema Kunstofchemi evolves out of Imbema Denso, with the acquisition of Airex PVC foam. This foam is used to make joint sealer strips, a type of waterproofing. This sparks the idea to cut the rolls of foam into sleeping mats, which could then be fitted with various layers to provide for insulation, flotation or comfort. The result is unprecedented market demand, and Imbema quickly becomes the largest provider of recreation mats, with sales numbering in the multi-millions. Swimming pool covers are also a popular product, in 1973, Jan Blumers decides it's time for Robert to depart for Germany. In 1975, Robert sets up in Bema Kunstofchemi in Kornwestheim, putting this city at the heart of our German activities. The start of the 70s have as their credo love and peace. Hippies conquer the world with flowers and their message of peace. It's a chaotic time with countless trends and idiosyncrasies. Afro hair, hot pants, elevator shoes and glam rock. Take a look in any schoolyard and you'll find all the latest fads. We begin to address our parents and teachers informally. A whole new youth subculture springs up in the 70s. Young people of this decade make themselves heard through pop music. In 1974, Agneta, Bjorn, Benny and Danny Fried, otherwise known as ABBA, win the Eurovision Song Festival with their hit song, Waterloo.